Laguna Honda, how are you today, huh? It's Monday. How's it going? How did that relocation happen? How did it go? Do you guys like your new offices? I mean, it's been a while. It's been several years. We're going on, we're going on at least five years, right? You guys would have already been in there. You would have already been secure. You would have already had your operations set up. You would have had that adjusted and taken care of. Hey, how are you guys doing with those uh, fires out there? Are you faring better this year? Around the same? Did you guys ever get your cybersecurity issues taken care of? You know the ones where there was like tons and tons and tons and tons of streaming child porn in the background? Hey, how did it go with the PUC? Hmm? I know, I know, all right? You guys got a completely different setup going than the rest of the city. At least you did then. Did you guys get that whole little green program taken care of? Hmm? Hey, let me ask you a question. Did you guys ever get that gene splicing shit taken care of? Or did you guys have some conflict of interest regarding that MOU with Israel? See, because I've got a problem now, right? Because when I left, somebody else signed me up for another round of conversion therapy, but they didn't do it in anything close to what was legal. And so I had to try to go, you know, to the court, you know, through the court system, which I was actually legally entitled to do. As a matter of fact, while they were trying to give me the therapy, some lawyer, or at least somebody who said she was a lawyer, came and told me I had a potential court date. And I said I wanted to go. Lo and behold, there was some foul play. And so I contacted the court. And when I contacted the court, they sent me this postcard. And there was a whole bunch of stuff on the website. But by the time the postcard got to me, all that stuff that was on the website wasn't there anymore. And what I had in my email that was evidence about stuff that was pending at that time, well, that got deleted, right? I mean, you guys know what that's like. It happens to you all the time. You got information, including information about legal matters, including legal matters regarding legislation or process. You know, like somebody submit some paperwork, and when there's paperwork submitted, there's a process, and other things have to correlate and be uh, contacted. There has to be references in order to make sure it can be processed. And so you have to have those things in order to reference it to be processed. Sometimes that would be in your email, confirmation in the email from whoever it was you needed to contact and have a confirm, especially within a specific time frame, specific deadlines. And then all of a sudden, that just <laughs> it's not in the email anymore. Somebody just enters your email, and they delete that information. That would have been legally required documentation, right? Well, you know, they sent me this postcard. This postcard said, sorry, we left jurisdiction. That's because apparently the jurisdiction was with the Federal Trade Commission. See, now I'm looking at what's trying to present itself as a court case, but that's not what it was up until probably right around now. It had nothing to do with the District of Massachusetts. It was the Federal Trade Commission, June 8, 2017. American Honda Finance Corporation, based out of Cuba. Something about a car loan. A car loan. My original petition for in-bank review before the Supreme Court of Texas got canceled because apparently the jurisdiction had to do with the Federal Trade Commission regarding a Cuban company and a car loan. Right, Honda? You know, like Destiny? Well, whose Destiny is it? He's already in there. He's already gone before the Supreme Court of the United States. Time after time after time. He's pissed because during the election, somebody found out that he had been laundering money the entire time he had been in uh, the Senate. And that all of that actually belonged to somebody else. But he's pissed because his wife had medical treatment. And at some point in time, well, somebody got busted. And the big problem is everybody's acting like a jackass. Nobody will come clean. Did he personally traffic his own wife and swap his wife's account out because he liked my minerals better? He just wanted to convert them to the kind of Christian he had married. Or did somebody in the hospital aid and abet setting up some shady shit on his wife in order to try to get at him? Because he was an opponent to their master plan. See, what we have here is we have two conflicting versions of Nazism. There's a rift in the party. There's a different concept of the utility of that kind of supremacy. It's true. 
But nobody wants to admit that. And you know what that does? That weakens the position on all sides involved. And we're still dealing with this. Because right now, after years and years and years and years of all this misrepresentation, we still have this conflict, this completing paradigm. If I go and I say, hey, I got this information, uh, everything I did got swapped and it, it got inverted. So when I go and I try to report on how I'm witness to the use of directed energy weapons in order to interfere with an election in a country prior to a mass exodus of people, that are merely imported into the United States to aid and abet more acts of money laundering? Well, now all of those protests are in Cuba. And the refusal for anybody to look into acts of money laundering that aided and abetted a terrorist attack that preceded the murder of five police in the fucking city I'm in right now. Well, that turns into a fire that burns down a building with people locked inside, including, according to the media report today, 16 children. You mean those 16 children on that military vessel off the coast of California? Did you guys get your prison health care package yet? See, because right now there's a dissident in Cuba that's been going through some sort of strange trial. People are like, we don't understand why he got arrested. We don't understand what these charges are. They're talking about evidence. It's not really evidence. Well, of course, because it's not about him. And it's not about the people of Cuba. It's about somebody who's able to do things like abuse the Federal Trade Commission and other things going on at the federal government level to get insurance for the fact that this shit's been going on for 15 years. And because you guys let me work in the so-called healthcare sector in complete denial and in repudiation of my own access to due process because I was being used as a mineral bed you guys were aiding and abetting leasing on. Well, now we got a big fucking problem. We got a big, big problem. See, I contend it ain't got anything to do with somebody trying to hook up a bunch of deals in the home country so that he can offset the liability that comes with trafficking an actual born citizen of the United States who apparently had the qualifications he himself didn't have. But when you guys in California refuse to respond year after year after year after year regarding allegations that you yourself are culpable with serious, serious crimes, including defrauding Medicare and Medicaid services when you allow for inaccurate reporting, not only on actual medical treatment, but on the cost involved with that treatment, as well as other pertinent financial information that came in accordance with the manners in which you diagnose the medical condition to begin with. Well, we've got a very difficult situation, right? And I'm not dead. I'm not dead and none of your certs work. You spent this whole conspiratorial time frame setting up a paradigm where you lied and aided and abetted people lying at that level. Are you willing to go there? How are you going to respond to this version and this manifestation of the Cuban Missile Crisis? Power to the people. Power to the people. This isn't about the president. See, if you were really interested in holding the president accountable, you would have supported me in bringing charges of President Obama and President Trump being kingpins in a criminal drug enterprise. But you guys had other interests. You guys had other interests. And now we're talking about <clears throat> workers' rights. Workers' rights, like those doctors from Cuba that didn't like the kind of compensation they were getting in Brazil. It didn't really seem to matter that these medical professionals may be implicated in heinous crimes involved with trafficking the people they were supposed to be providing medical care to and aiding and abetting a illicit distribution network that included trafficking people to smuggle not only drugs, by the way, but weapons, serious weapons. We're not talking about your kickback from Fast and Furious where you're able to get some new research projects for what it means to be exposed to gun violence. 
right on time. We're not talking about that, guys. We're talking about nukes. Do you see nukes? Is that what you see? Do you see armed nuclear missiles pointed at the country? Do you see that? Do you have access to the film? Do you have people that can explain to you the specifications that were necessary in order for these specific satellites that ended up actually acquiring that information that's being presented to you? being able to register it and identify the specific geolocation in order to confirm? Do you have people that know what they're actually literally looking for as opposed to just using it as some form of derivative in order to aid and abet your coding scheme to maximize that bundle's chance of clearing with all the completely non-medically necessary charges that improve your bargaining position. It's not yet 10 a.m. here. It's not yet 8 a.m. there. Some of you are going to be arriving at work around now. Some of you in about a half hour, right? I expect for somebody at the San Francisco Department of Public Health to contact me directly by the end of the day today, or I will know that you got busted in an attempted kidnapping 